Men do not really like when you correct them, but there are ways you can correct them. Hi, welcome to Noble TV Life with Lily Kevin. Today we're going to be talking about something very interesting and I'm sure you'll get tips on how to do some certain things after watching this video. What are we talking about today? How to influence your husband. Yes, you heard me right. How to influence your husband. As a good wife, how do you influence your husband? Hmm? How do you follow your husband? Well, many wives wish that they can change their husbands for the better but you cannot change a man no matter how hard you try to change a man you can never change a man you can only influence him to the point that he desires change for himself how that's a question on everybody's mind how how can i influence my husband now listen i'll take you through tips on how to influence your husband number one make sure the home is peaceful very peaceful not a place he wants to run away from okay let the home front be very peaceful this will make him spend more time at home with you giving you more room to influence him number two find out what his vision is and show him that you care about his vision this way he will tell you his biggest dreams that he is afraid to tell people out there because he feels they don't believe in him. Number three, appreciate him. Ah, that one is very important. Appreciation is very, very important. Appreciate him for the little he does. And he will naturally find himself doing more for you so that he can be rewarded with more of your appreciation. You know, most men actually love when a woman appreciates them in one way or the other especially in the kind way all right number four complain less do not complain too much don't be a chatterbox don't complain too much when you see something just take your face away you don't have to talk about everything you don't have to complain about everything complain less this will make him less defensive and more moldable by you now if he starts to see you as a fault finder he will pull away making you less influential so don't be a fault finder number five make him very proud do great things as an individual have something uniquely yours you know something that you do for a living that is worth admiring let him go out there and hear admirable things about you let him look at you as an individual a businesswoman a career woman a mother who is glowing now, let me tell you one secret. Men tend to yield to the influence of the woman they admire. Not the woman who is a drag. Not the woman who is stressful. Not a negative mindset woman. Who has given up on life? Men do not need such women. Number six, teach him how to do those things you wish he would do for you. Teach him. He is teachable. So teach him. If you wish that he be more courteous to you, that he would ask you how your day has been, that he would be more open, more transparent, don't demand for it. Just show him by practicing it. And he will warm up to it through your gentleness. Number seven, call out his greatness because... Your words means a lot to him. Men love it when you praise them, when you sing their praises. They love it. It gets into their head. So call out his greatness, you know, because your words actually mean a lot to him. Speak life to him, both when he is down or when things are not going well. And also when things are going well, <clears throat> speak life to him. Tell him how great a future he has, how an amazing businessman he is how big a blessing he is he will find himself living up to those words even if he falls short now teachers and employers use this strategy to bring out the best in people truth is most likely your husband is always hanging around people who only see him here and there you know but your unique voice is all he needs so speak into his future Number 
8. Correct him with love. Men do not really like when you correct them. But there are ways you can correct them. By being simple, being pampery, you know, being sweet, being romantic. There are ways to correct a man. Because they really don't like taking corrections. So don't correct them forcefully. Don't correct them with harsh tunes. Correct them with love. And know exactly when to correct that man. Okay? If you come off harsh, and as if you're attacking him, he will pull away. He will not even want to listen to you. But when he sees you are coming from a place of love and you mean well, he will allow you to be the iron that sharpens the iron that he is. Number nine, do not overreact or become overly sensitive and judgmental. Don't overreact. Try to cushion yourself. Try to be calm in every situation. Don't overreact. Men do not like that. Your husband is paying attention to how you react to topics and he will choose what to talk about with you based on your reaction. If he notices that you get edgy when he talks about an innocent female friend, his mother, finances, or his past, he will keep off such topics. Yes, he will no longer be free to discuss such things with you because of the fear of how you would react. But when you are a secured wife, is it to talk to? He will tell you the intrigues in his life. He will tell you about his friends. He will tell you the weirdest things <laughs> that happened to him. What his mother is thinking, the troubles he has gotten into, the ex who tried to make contact with him, the lady he gave a ride to in the car when it was raining, all because you are easy to talk with. The more you know, the more you will influence him. So when your husband comes on you with such openness, please do not attack. Respond with sense. Number 10, pray for him. It's very important in every marriage, in every life, in every relationship. Pray for your husband. Yes, team up with God to mold him. You are the one who knows your husband's strengths, weakness, temptations, traumas and struggles commit him to god in prayer don't forget a woman wins every battle on bended knees so always pray for your husband do not curse your husband but pray for him number 11 praise him in public places because a man feels more emboldened to be great when his woman highlights his goodness when you're in public sing about your husband's praises Talk about his greatness. Don't belittle your husband. No man loves to be belittled, especially in public places, by his woman. So always sing your husband's praises. Even when he's not doing well, still go ahead and sing his praises. It will make him moldable. Number 12, make him feel needed. Yes, most men love it when you make them feel needed. When you want them, you show that, oh, I want you. They like it a lot. Men long to feel useful. When a man is made to feel he adds no value and can be easily discarded, he feels worthless. But when you remind him of how much he means to you, when you ask him for help, even when you can do it on your own, you just tell him, honey, can you assist me do this? But you can do it on your own. But you don't want him to feel useful. You just want him to feel, oh, I'm the man. When you seek his advice, when you request him to sort out an issue in the house and make him feel like he has saved the day, my darling, he will learn, lean more towards you and you will influence him easily. Number 13, notice his growth. As he makes incremental progress towards being a better man, a successful man, spending more time with the children, taking care of you, Show him that you see his effort and it will motivate him to do more. Number 14, give him space and be patient. Don't police him. No man loves to be policed like a child. No. Do not choke him. Choke his time or want to micromanage him as if he's a little boy or little child. And you know him better. He will only rebel. 
But when you allow him to find his personal pace and path to growth, when you allow him to miss you sometimes, to hear other viewpoints, soon he will begin to see that the best is with you. Number 15. Find out what he likes to talk about. This will be a great conversation starter. Men actually do love to talk, especially when they have a listening ear. They are just picky with topics. What is his favorite topic? Music, history, business, cars, leadership, science. What have you? Show interest in his topics and he will light up talking with you about them and find himself talking with you about conversations you care about. Number 16. Don't compare him with others. Men hate comparison. Do not, never, ever compare your man with other people. Don't compare him with others, including with yourself. Don't say words such as, I feel like I am the man in this marriage. Why can't you do the way I do things? Other husbands do better than you. Why can't you be like Moan Day's husband? You will lose your husband, I tell you. With this kind of approach, you will lose your husband. You don't inspire a man by comparing him with others, but by speaking to the individual great man he can be. 17. Give him counsel, not orders. Your advice should not be an order, but a suggestion. Your delivery is important. When you suggest, he will ponder on it and find himself paying attention to your counsel. Thus, this influences him. Many married men look back and see how much they have changed for the better through the love of their wives. That is how powerful and influential a woman can be. Thank you so much for watching. I believe you've learned two tips. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and like. Never to be like. I am Lily Kevin.